Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dopemotions.com and welcome to this brand new video. As you must have seen many editors using this cool looking 2D elements and effects in their videos which make the videos look more dynamic and attractive. So here I am to show you guys one of the best 2D elements pack from a company called AE Juice that you can use in your videos. And the best part is that you can add this effects to your videos in just few clicks. Now they have a special offer going on only for Dope Motion subscribers. And that is if you purchase the Shape Elements Pack, you will be getting the Shape Elements Pack 2 absolutely free. All you need to do is head on to their website, then scroll down at the very bottom and find the contact page. Type in your name, email address, subject and in the message section you can type in hashtag dope gift after you send this email they will verify your purchase and once your purchase is verified they will send you the shape elements pack too absolutely free so i think that is a great deal you are getting two products at the price of one so make sure to check it out the link will be down in the description so without any further ado let's get started So with that said, let's see how we can use the shape elements pack inside our video. So here I have a very simple video of a girl doing a windmill move. So let's go into the shape elements pack and you can see we have different number of elements which are divided in their particular category. So the first one is the 3D element. So as you can see right over here in the preview window that we have some nice symbol elements animating in 3D space. Then we have the 3D lines which are like swishes that you can use in your videos maybe in your music videos or something like that but for the video that we have right now i need something like a circular element that would appear when the ha when her hand hits the ground so i have one in mind that is the circles 13 so i can just select and drag it but before that here if i click on this gear icon you can see we have different number of presets to choose from. So the first one is the default animation. Second one we have some drop shadow. Third one is my favorite that is the glow animation. Then we have pixelate, roughen edges, scatter, animated texture, texture and turbulence displays. So in this case I'm going to go with the glow and hit OK. So now I can just select it and drag it onto our video and it's pretty small at the moment. So I can hit S and bring up the scale property, scale that up. Now if I place this just like that, it doesn't really look that great. So we need to rotate it into the Z dimension. What I can do is I can click on the collapse icon, then make it 3D and then rotate it in the X rotation just like so. And then you can position it, scale it depending on your personal preference. And now we have this really interesting movement when her hand hits the ground. Now it's not perfect because you need to rotoscope the hand a little bit so that the elements should appear from, from the back of her hand. But just to give you guys an idea, you can see it looks pretty cool and interesting. Now if you want to change the color of the glow, what you can do is you can select the color you can select the circle composition, go into the effects and control panel and here we have the tint which is for the color and now I can change the tint to whichever color that I like. So let's say I want to go with something like red or maybe like a yellow from the background. I can select that and for the blue I'll go with a red maybe. That is our outer glow and there we have it. Maybe it's, maybe it's a bit too dull so I can keep it bright and now you can see it goes with our scene. So it's pretty simple and easy to use. Then we have some dashes which are basic line elements animating in a very simple way. Now I can again use this dash element that I have. There we go. Again I'm going to do the same thing. I can make it 3D, turn off the collapse transformation and rotate it just like so. So I'll put it somewhere maybe when her back hits the ground. So I can go right here. Maybe rotate it a bit bit more just like that and place it right over here now again I'm doing it very randomly but you can take your time to rotoscope her back and that will make things look much more better so I'm gonna maybe go right over here and I'll move this 
so now we have something like that which is pretty basic and looks very interesting then we have the energy elements which you can use to add some more elements and give it a little bit of more variation so maybe i'll use this energy 12 that we have and maybe we can you know combine the elements and make it look very very complex actually so i'm going to rotate this and i'll put it right over here where her hand hits the ground so somewhere around there maybe we rotate this a bit more let's see and yep there we go i think it's looking pretty cool then we have some fireworks which you can use to add some really simple motion elements to your animation we have some formula animation which you can use to add a character to the animation we have hand drawn elements as well then we have hands which you know you can add a logo or attach a logo to the hand to create a logo reveal really simple and easy then we have some hexagon elements as you can see you can use these elements in creating some nice explainer videos as well then we have impacts really nice then we have lines pretty simple ones we have loops simple looping elements that you can add in the background just to add some little small elements to your animation which i like to use mainly in my slideshow animations you can see some small elements animating in the background we have map makers so in case if you're creating any travel video or something like that you can use that then we have notes just like the formulas that we had so in case you're working on any uh, music video or something like that or a lyrical video that time you can use these notes to you know add a little bit of interesting element to your animation then we have the rains so which is a pretty intense animation which is mainly will be useful when you're working with uh, you know explainer videos or something like that we have some rectangular animations which are pretty abstract some ribbon animation for creating some badges and stuff like that we have social media elements we have speech bubbles and steam which i'm not really sure what it is but oh this is the steam that you know like uh, smoke or something like that so you can use it then we have the swishes that you can again add and let's take a quick look at the shape elements too as well so in the shape elements too we have different elements as you can see we have 3d elements so you can use this 3d elements in your projects we have 3d lines 3d strokes which are very you know detailed stroke animations so you can use it in a logo reveal or maybe a motion graphic project we have arrows bubbles circle confetti fireworks impacts lines ouroboros which are really interesting animations then we have rectangles and so on other elements that we have so yes the link will be in the description if you want to purchase this pack make sure to email them if you purchase the shape elements pack one then make sure to email them with hashtag dope gift and they will personally send you the shape elements pack to absolutely free and that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then make sure to subscribe comment and like and i will see you guys in the next video till then take care thank you so much for watching and don't forget to stay raw stay creative